Health professionals are touting a program aimed at bringing health care to farm families in Outagamie County. The county has formed a partnership with the Rural Health Initiative in the hope of raising the quality of care in the region. Those behind the program say they're trying their best to attract farm folks who face numerous barriers when it comes to health care. Rural Seymour residents listened closely as registered nurse Amanda Hatch talked about the Rural Health Initiative. She explained the effort that brings health care workers into the homes of farm workers. We can do um, testing on them like a blood pressure. We can do a lipid panel, so um, the total cholesterol, the LDL, the HDL, so the bad and the good cholesterol, triglycerides. Hatch says farmers work long hours and have long commute times to their doctor's offices, so they're not getting the necessary preventative health and safety screenings. Insurance coverage is also a barrier. According to the Rural Health Initiative, more than 18% of Wisconsin farm families have no health insurance. Another 41% have high deductible plans that provide only major medical coverage, and four out of five lack insurance that covers checkups and preventative care. A lot of our farmers, um, they are either underinsured or they have really um, high deductibles, so five to ten thousand dollar deductibles and so then they're just not going in to get that preventative care piece. The program, which covers Shawano, Wapaka, and Outagamie counties, is funded mostly through donations. The cost each year is $183,000. $78,000 is funneled into Outagamie County. If you look at the county budget, far and away the largest department, the largest services, is the Health and Human Services budget. In fact, we levy over $20 million every year in property taxes just to pay for health and human services. Outagamie County Executive Tom Nelson says the Rural Health Initiative's potential impact on the county budget is unknown, but he adds there will be savings nonetheless. If we can get early on to a problem while it's a little more cost effective to treat, uh, uh, not only are we going to be able to save money from the bottom line for, for our county budget, but we also have the real chance to actually save lives. The Rural Health Initiative served 43 families in Outagamie County over the last year and is looking to grow that number. For more information about the program and how you can sign up, head to our website, fox11online.com. Look for a link in the News Link section at the bottom of the homepage.